Jan 15th, 2018 was an extremely important day in my life. I learned something really valuable that day and I'm going to share it with you. So um, on Jan 12th, three days uh, before the, the event that, that changed my life, uh, my feature film as writer, director, humble politician, or graduates in theatres. I was at a promotional event. The film was doing well in theatres, but at the same time, we didn't know whether the film was going to be a hit or a flop. Uh, and there was this nervousness, uh, you know, surrounding all of us. And at that point, I finished the promotional event and came out and I saw my phone and there were about 13, 14 missed calls. So I uh, called the first number, it was my producer. Uh, and uh, on the other end, I heard him say, hey, congratulations, great news. HPN has broken even. Uh, and uh, primarily because Amazon Prime has picked up and it's going to be the first kind of him to be on its platform. And he gave me all this amazing news and he said it's also going to continue playing in the theaters. And then I spoke with Tanish. We all, it was a happy, moment for all of us and then I um, sort of sat in a cab and at that time I didn't I didn't have my own car so I used to uh, you know do most of my journeys in cabs so I sat in the cab and uh, I uh, was obviously happy but at the same time I was exhausted and I was also thinking about what next you know what's going to happen to the remaining days that HPN is in the theater how is it going to fare on Amazon when it comes out whether people are going to like it or not all those questions and thoughts were running in my mind as I was in the cab and the cab driver heard me um, on on the phone conversation with other people and put two and two together and uh, since there are also posters of HPN on, on the walls he said hey are you the director I said yes and then we had a candid conversation so I asked the cab driver I said so where are you from he said I am from a small town in Karnataka and uh, then I said, how long have you been in Bengaluru? He said, I've been living here for about two years now. And I have my two children there. I have my family, my wife, my, my in-laws, my, my parents. They're all there in the small town. And I said, so yeah, where, uh, where do you live here in Bengaluru? Where are you, where are you based out of? And he said, uh, I live here. Uh, I said, where is here? He said, I live in my cab. This car is my home, he said. I was shocked. I was taken aback. So I... I didn't know what is the next follow-up question, so I just said, uh, I asked him, I said, what about your, your ablutions, your, um, how, you know, where do you shower, all all of those, you know, basic stuff, where, how do you manage that? And he said, I, I use the, I go to the mall, I sometimes use the public toilet. Um, then I was concerned, so I said, why don't you maybe, you know, get two, three people and share a small place and give rent there? He said that every penny that I save here helps my family, helps my, helps the future for my children, and I want to, I want to do that. And I said, how long have you been living in your cab? He said, I've been living here since I've been in Bengaluru. I've been living in my cab for two years. I, it was not out of choice, but it was just um, random for me to make this uh, strange comparison between between him and me, that. Here is a man who's sacrificing everything and he's saying all this as a matter of fact. And he he seems grateful. And here I am on a very special day in my life. And for some reason, I'm thinking about all the things that have to follow, but I'm not living in the moment. I'm not being grateful uh, for the things, for the thing that has happened today and now. And this act of not being grateful or rather not feeling grateful made me, made me realize that uh, lesson I've learned from this wonderful man just while by journeying with him uh, that it's not about you thinking what's going to happen next but how much you appreciate the current moment how much you appreciate how much you're grateful for what you have now for what you have today and I've been carrying that moment since Jan 15th 2018 up until today and I hope to carry this valuable lesson for the rest of my life and I hope for everything that's happening in your life today that you're breathing that your that your family is safe that you are safe that that you are able to have three good meals a day and that you're able to provide for your family or be provided for for all these things maybe at the end of the day or maybe first thing in the morning you can just be grateful